just in case you're interested, uh, one of the things that I've found to be pretty handy is the use of three monitors. Two of these monitors are 4K 32 inch With monitor. that 4K monitor, is it allows you to split your screen in two. I don't like the really wide screen for data collection or filling out forms. And so if you hit the Windows button and an arrow, it will split your screen in two and gives you the ability to end up with what is effectively, in this case, five monitors, but uh, with two, I've got four. So a, a little thing that I find to be handy that uh, works pretty well. How many times do you run into a situation where you're doing an appraisal on a property, it's proposed construction or county records aren't very good and you have a hard time figuring out what the uh, property is and what comp photos you are going to need to take. This often happens to me when I'm doing new construction. Sometimes I'm not even sure what the property is going to look like and I don't want to make another trip out to get the photos. So give you a, a tip that uh, has worked pretty well for me. First of all, you have a device that has a wide angle lens. I find the wide angle lenses are the best for being able to get some of these photos and some of the things that work really well is your uh, uh, GoPro camera, but uh, the new iPad Pro and uh, many of the new latest Samsung uh, camera or f uh, phones have the capability of doing the wide angle lens, which is very good for trying to record. Uh, so here, here's what I will do: is I will. Find a, uh, I'm, I'm in a new subdivision, I don't know for sure what sales I'm going to use, I don't even know what my subject is, and so I'm needing to try to make sure that I can get the data while I'm in the neighborhood. So here's an illustration of a property uh, in Las Vegas where uh, county records were incomplete, so I look at the property, I now then go ahead and get my camera All right, we're on the subject going down the and I talk here. to myself. Uh, house next door. So when I find a property that I think I want to use as a comparable sale, I pause the uh, recording and uh, get my little clipper. I just use the snipping tool. There's several out there but this is just a si uh, system snipping tool. I come in and Oh, let me. I, I come in and uh, get the snipper activated, cop out the part that I want, paste it uh, back into the comp, uh, and, and I'm good. I've, I've got the uh, picture. This works pretty good if you're in gated subdivisions or in areas where you are routinely needing sales. You can record the entire subdivision. Now, one of the things that I've done that I really find helpful is sometimes it's a pain in the neck getting the pictures off your camera onto your computer. I've got my computer automatically set up so that it backs up to my Google Photos. So all the pictures I take will back up to the uh, photo on Google Photos and then I don't have to worry about uploading or any of these other things. It makes it really easy to find and access these things. And then if I need to go in and access any of the information about the property, I can do that with very little difficulty. And I find that I'm doing this on a pretty regular basis just because it is an easy way to document information about comparable sales, especially in areas where the data is kind of hard to find. I hope that's a useful tip. We'll talk to you later.